everybody, how are you? I hope you're all very well indeed and so welcome back. But if you're new, a warm welcome to you as well. And if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe just before you leave. Just if you like, I'm not making you. <laughs> but today I'm making a traditional Scottish breakfast sausage. It's known simply as square sausage, although other parts of the country you might hear it being called Lauren sausage or even slice. It's most commonly eaten in a bread roll, a sandwich or a cooked Scottish breakfast. And my mother always used to stew these in gravy with some onions and carrots just for your tea or your dinner at night. And it was really, really tasty. They're quite versatile. You'll see sausage like this everywhere in this country. Every takeaway, supermarket, corner shops, snack vans, cafes. You know, it's just one of those super common things. And it's absolutely delicious. And some folk might add onions to theirs or tomato sauce, brown sauce, even bacon or a wee potato scone as well you know that's commonly added to your roll but it's really easy to make so I mean if you're abroad and you're looking for a wee taste of home or you simply want to try this for the first time you should be able to find the ingredients that I'm using or variants available in your country so yeah so let's go and see what we're going to need and what we're going to use today now I usually sip my ingredients out in bowls at the beginning of the recipe but because this really doesn't use many I'm just going to show you you know what I'm using as I'm going along okay so let's go and see what we're needing so the first thing you're going to need is a loaf tin now this is a two pound loaf tin and you're going to need one very similar to this because that's going to give you the characteristic square sausage shape as you can see there it's a kind of square mold then the meats we're using, you're going to need about a pound of minced beef. Now you want quite a high fat content because that's going to give you all the flavour and make it extra naughty. If you get lean, you know, if you if you get lean mince, it's going to be quite dry and tasteless, I'm afraid. So you will need the good stuff. So this is a pound of beef mince, and we're also going to need a pound of pork mince. Now I'm using minced pork shoulder simply because it's got, you know, it's got a higher fat content. But don't worry about the calories because <laughs> this isn't something you would typically have every single day. It's a wee bit of a treat. And you're also going to need some butcher's rusk. Now it's super cheap. Mine's was only 50 pence. And I know some people struggle to find butcher's rusk. So if you can't find it, don't worry. You can use something like dried breadcrumbs. And it'll just it'll work as well. It just won't be as good. But it'll still work. Something like this is fine. But if you can get butcher rusk, you know that's the way to go. Because that's what the butchers use. If you ask your butcher, they'll be quite happy to give you some. And like I say, it costs next to nothing. You'll also need 200 mils of chilled water. So first of all, grab a bowl and pop your minced beef in. This is a pound. Or around about 450 grams. To that, you want to add your nutmeg and your coriander. And again, all of these ingredients and their weights will be in the description box down below. And to that, you just want to add your salt and your pepper. We use low salt, it's a lower sodium, but you can use whatever salt you like. And then to that, you just want to add your egg. And I'm just going to pop my pork mince on top of that. You want to get in there with your hands and just squish everything together. You want this thoroughly combined. You can do this in a food processor as well. I just think it works out a lot better doing it by hand. And once you're happy, you can make a wee well in the centre. And just add, start start by adding half of your water because you might not need it all. You're just looking for a sort of sticky mixture at this stage. You don't want it to be super duper runny. You just want it kind of tacky and sticky. So just add half. If you need to use more later, you can do. And make another well and add in your butcher rusk. This is 180 grams. If you're using breadcrumbs, you know, it'd just be the same, 180 grams. But if you can find butcher rusk, definitely use that because it does make quite a bit of difference. And then again, just work that well in. And that's you. I didn't actually have to use any more water. So this is fine. You're looking for a kind of stiff dough. 
or a stiff mixture. Very, you need a, a very, very stiff mixture. You don't, this shouldn't be runny at all or loose. So you want to grab your tin and you want to line your tin with the cling film because it's just going to make your sausage easier to get out at the end. You want to pop your mixture in and press this firmly down right into the corners. Just pack it all in. Just take your time, you know, it might take you a good few minutes, but this is quite an important stage because you don't want to cut it at the end and it's all going to fall apart. Now, ideally, you would pop this into your fridge for, you know, overnight would be brilliant. But if you don't, if, you know, if you don't have the time or you're trying to do this, you know, a wee bit quicker, then in a minimum of eight hours refrigeration is what you're going to need because you're, you're going to firm this right up so yep so just pop that into your fridge and leave it minimum of eight hours mine's is going to be in the fridge for about 10 hours so i'll come back when it's had its time well that was 10 hours ago <laughs> two seconds for you guys but yeah 10 hours ago that so this is me just taking it out the fridge here and it's now going lovely and firm and if you've ever seen you know, square sausage in the butcher, you'll know this is exactly what it looks like. A sort of corned beef appearance. So just get it out of your tin, take your cling film off and now you're going to slice it. I'm only going to take a couple of slices off of this because I just want to show you, you know, how to do it. And I'm just going to pop the rest into the fridge for tomorrow. So you're best using a serrated knife. And you don't want too thick a slice and you don't want too thin a slice. Something like this is ideal. And again, though it's up to you, you know, I don't want to tell you how thick to cut your sausages. <laughs> but this is just typically, you know, the thickness that you would see them at. So you can either fry these or grill them. I'm just going to fry these ones just for quickness and to show you how they cook. So you want to give them about three or four minutes on each side. Just a wee drop of oil is needed because there's still a good bit of fat in the sausages, so, you know, they will cook in their own fat as well. You just want to get a, a good bit of colour on them, on each side. Just like that. Easy peasy. Absolutely delicious. And I just like to take mine out and pop them onto a bit of kitchen towel, just to drain them a wee bit. And these are the rolls I'm using tonight because I haven't managed to get to my local baker. So these are, well, these will do. So a couple of rolls and you just want to pop a wee bit of butter on and then your sausages. I mean, like I said earlier, you can add fried onions, tomato ketchup, brown sauce, anything you like. But this is as plain and basic as it gets. And I've taken a wee bite. <laughs> They're absolutely delicious. They really were. So yeah. Like I say, I, mean, I don't think these actually work out any cheaper, you know, doing it yourself than actually buying them. But it's just a wee bit of fun. You know, you get the satisfaction of knowing that you've actually made them yourself. Like I say, there are a lot of countries that you can't actually get these square sausages. So, yeah, you, could, you know, that's where this kind of thing comes in handy. If you know how to make them, then it doesn't matter if you can't find them in a shop because you can make your own. So there you go. So hopefully you liked that wee video because I know there were quite a few of you asking to see it. So there you go. It's a very, very, you know, it's very, very simple, very easy. It's just a wee bit time consuming because you do have to let it refrigerate and firm up for quite a long time. But if you've done this at night, you know, let it, let it um, firm up overnight. And then that way, you know, you're not losing any time. You wake up the next day and it's lovely and firm for you so let me know if you're going to give it a wee go and uh, thank you again guys for coming over and checking me out and also for going over to my instagram and leaving all your comments there because i have recognized quite a lot of you coming over from the youtube channel to instagram quite a few and yeah and that you're coming back again and again so i really appreciate that so i'll be back on sunday i believe no no i'll be back on thursday tomorrow be back tomorrow for the shopping haul and then i'll be back on sunday for meals of the week again so yeah so take care of yourselves guys and i'll catch up with you soon bye for now bye